um, we got it under contract for 35,000, okay? And so my dispositions department marketed this deal for 48 hours and we found a buyer that was willing to pay 65,000. Reaching my quota, mixing my soda, feeling connected to God, trying to get closer, stepping on roaches, me and my loasters, just trying to get over, trying not to get swallowed by locusts, trying to stay focused. I'm gonna talk about how to find your first deal or how to do your first deal, okay? Um, you can, you know, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that teach you a bunch of different ways on how to find deals, how to do deals. And guys, what you'll find out <laughs> is everybody is pretty much doing the same thing, okay? Um, honestly, it depends on your budget, how much you can spend, but, but just know this, that marketing, marketing and exposure is the bloodline of the business. The more people you can call, the more people that see your advertising, the more the more likely you are to get a deal, the more likely you are to get people to call you, okay? And so that's the name of the game, marketing, marketing. That's really the name of, game, name of the game of, of any business, guys. It's, it's marketing and sales, marketing and sales. So don't think about starting an LLC, don't think about your logo and um, you know getting a fancy office and all that other crap. Think about marketing, marketing and sales, okay? And so the, the marketing, uh, uh, tool that I use a lot in my business is cold calling okay a lot of people you know preach about you know having people call you through PPC and SEO that stuff's cool but when you're getting started in the business I think you need to I think everybody needs to be on the phones everybody needs to be on the phones having conversations with people about real estate okay the first couple calls you're gonna sound like a dummy you're, you're gonna you're gonna sound like you don't know what you're talking about but but that's okay you know what I'm saying that's how you learn I was very intimidated on my first couple calls I was I was scared for real it took me a while I literally had to like like stand up and, and, and say affirmations out loud and literally like force myself to make phone calls but after I did guys it felt good it felt good and, and then I just wanted to do it more that night, I think I stayed at the office till like 2 in the morning, just, just rehearsing with myself and making phone calls. I don't think I made phone calls till 2 a.m., but I, I was just so excited about the fact that I actually talked to people about real estate, and then I recorded my calls, and I was listening to my calls, okay? And so the, thing, the beautiful thing about uh, cold calling is if you really want to find a deal right now, bro, you can do it. All you got to do is pull a list. So you can pull a list from one go to propstream.com go to the link I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it in this YouTube channel you can go to uh, the, the link on uh, on, on uh, this video and and you can do a seven-day free trial so PropStream provide is a resource that you can use to get access to tax delinquent properties to get um, um, access to vacant properties land you can also find buyers and you you can also do farming okay it's a really good tool um, also, the second one that we use is ListSource. Very similar. Um, that's that's the one that majority of the investors have used, you know, over time. Uh, and it, it's a, it's a it's a software that's been around for a very long time. Third is just public records. You know what I'm saying? Public records is is it's going to take more time because it's raw data. Um, but this is something that most people don't want to do because it takes extra work. But what you'll find out is there's a lot of a lot of properties on there that aren't on these softwares, okay? Because it's raw data and it takes time to find the owners of, of you know the, the, that data that you receive. So it'll be data with just with just an address. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to um, you know an appraisal search to find out who the owner is and. It takes extra work, and then you'll have to skip trace it, okay? And guys, you can reach out to me about skip tracing. Um, there's a lot of resources out there, um, LexisNexis, um, TLO. There's a lot of resources out there, but if you guys reach out to me, I'll, I'll help you out with that. And so, cold calling and it is, is by far, I think, the best and most, most effective tactic for anybody starting off in this business, okay? Connected to God, trying to get closer. Stepping on roaches, me and my loasters. Just trying to get over. Try not to get swallowed by locusts. Trying to stay focused, kind of like Moses. Like somebody chose us. Sweat on my shoulder. I feel these emotions. But still, I keep going.
All right, guys, we found this house off of a call, okay? Now, most people will look at this house and be like, man, like, this is this is a mess. This is ugly. You can't do anything with this, man. But this this house is money. This house is money. This actual, when I look at houses like this, I just look at the, the outcome of what it's going to be after we come in here and, and demolish everything and, and, and put in new appliances. And, bro, this is, this is a gold mine, you know, and this came off of a call, guys. Because guys on my team have, you know, took the initiative to, to pick up the phone and, and make some calls, okay? If they never would have made calls, we wouldn't have found this house, okay? Check it out. I'm going to show it to you. So it's a two-bedroom, one-bath. <laughs> it looks like a trap house, man. <laughs> like, look at this, bro. Like, you look at this and... Your average person be like, man, this is this is dirty, this is this is worthless, you can't even do anything with this, but this is money. Okay? Guys, these are the kind of houses you want to look for. We got another bedroom, it's a two-one, so this is we got you know smaller bedroom, but um, we got this house in the range of about thirty thousand. It's gonna need new everything, you know what I'm saying? New um, appliances, gonna need a new tub, new sinks. All right, plumbing foundation. Alrighty guys, so it took us, I wanna say three days to get this property under contract. Um, we got it under contract for 35,000, okay? And so my dispositions department marketed this deal for 48 hours and we found a buyer that was willing to pay 65,000. So guys, when you're driving around and you see houses like this, don't just drive by them. Write down the address, okay? Write down the address for every single property that you drive by. And what I want you to do is find their phone number, okay? Using the skip tracing source that I'm gonna give you, okay? Or even a better way, what I did when I was starting in this business, I just wrote a handwritten letter to them that was, you know, they called me because they said it was personal. Write, write a handwritten letter saying, I'm interested in buying this property at 123 Main Street. Um, I'd like to make you an offer. Please call me at your earliest convenience and leave your phone number. I guarantee you if you do that to 50 people, somebody will call you. Do it right now. So if you're getting started in real estate, real estate wholesaling is the best way, the quickest way, the easiest way to get started, okay? You're flipping paper. Remember, you, you guys don't have to have 30, the money to put up to flip properties. You're flipping paper. Marketing, marketing is the bloodline of this business. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that, okay? So let's get it, man. I want to help y'all. And first things first, man, with this game that I've just given you, if you don't do anything with it, you're disrespecting me. Get out there and do it. Let's get it.